So here's another video in the short How Do I series. And this one is very useful. How to create a share shortcut to open a photo in Affinity Photo or Designer even on the iPad. Use this to directly open photos or images directly from your Apple Photos app or any other app, in fact, when you select share. You know that little square rectangle with the up arrow and you click on that to share? Well, now you can put your own Open in Affinity Photos share in there as well. This is another How Do I video. Okay, set it up. First, open the shortcut app on your iPad. If you can't see it on the screen immediately, just go through the usual method of searching for shortcut and it will pop up and it looks just like that. Open the share sheet under my shortcuts. So when it opens up, you'll be presented with that screen. Go down to share sheet and in there, you'll see my short, go down to shortcuts and in there you'll see my shortcuts. And there is share sheet. That's the one we want. Don't get all tongue tied here. Now we want a new one. You can see I've got two there, open in photo and open in designer. We're going to create another one. Tap on the plus symbol next to the margin there. And with the script sheet, now open, let's make a small adjustment to ensure we only open images because it defaults to any. Now that means any. That means you could have spreadsheets, you could have videos, you could have anything and it will try and open it and fail of course. Now change any to images by tapping the word any and you'll see the word image, you'll see a, a drop down list. There it is and it comes up. Now because it's had any in there, all of those switches will be on. So just scroll down there and turn them all off and then go back and turn on images. So from the drop down menu, turn off all but the images option and select done at the top there. Now this will unfortunately not open some JPG files I've discovered. Now this is affinity, this is not the shortcut. For example, those cut from screenshots. For some reason, I don't know what kind of, uh, of um, file it is. I thought it was JPG, but it won't share with that. But they're fair, few and far between. We're talking about photos in your Apple Photos album when you're scrolling through there and you want to just edit a photo directly without going out, loading up the thing, doing this, doing that, doing the other thing. I've no idea why it doesn't open those couple of random JPGs. Maybe it's just me. But it will open all your photos and most other images. So don't be worried about that. The first part is now done. And let's look into the next part. Now you can see up there is a blank shortcut name. You can either fix that up now or we'll come back to it. But that's what your screen looks like. Receive image input from share sheet. Very straightforward. But there's a little bit more to it than that. The next part is a slightly tricky bit. In the search bar, type open file. And you can see I've typed it in there. And you will see under documents heading there, the open file option. Now you can go and find it if you like, but there's lots of them in there and you'll probably miss it. Where it says the open file option, select that option by tapping on it. That's all you have to do. Just tap on that little icon. And there it is. Now we have only to locate the app we want. And you can see it puts it, when you tap on it, it puts it in the left hand side there where the red arrow is pointing at it. And it's got default app. Well, who knows what the default app is? That's no good to us. You can see the steps you've got there. Now tap on the opaque default app and in the list, locate Affinity Photo. Or if you have a mind, Affinity Designer. Or as I've got there, Photoshop, Express, Procreate, Pixelmator. You can put anything in there that will open photos. But we're doing Affinity Photo. And that's what I've put in. So you just tap on Photo. And it's in. All of the parts are now in place. The last thing left is to rename the shortcut. Which is called Open File or Duh which it not really is. So you've got two parts, 
you've got the top part, receive images input from share sheet, and the second part, open shortcut input in photo. Lovely. Rename the shortcut to something more suitable. Open Affinity Photo. Well, that's about what it is, isn't it? When you tap Done, you're taken back to the opening interface. There's your new shortcut. Open in Affinity Photo. You can see my other ones are still there. Open in Designer and Open in Photo. Now, let's see how you use it. Well, you should be familiar with this. OK, open Photos and select an image. Open the image and select the share icon. Isn't that a lovely bike? That's my wife's motorbike. Hmm, hot stuff. The bike that is, guys, the bike. Okay, well, no, let me rephrase that. No, don't go there, Robert. Select the share icon. Scroll down and select your shortcut. And you can see it there, open in Affinity Photo. Too easy, straight from Photos. And there it is, your photo opens, no more double shuffling, you can go right to it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and click on the thumbs up. Having that thumbs up is a good counter, I can rapidly see how many people are watching my videos and bothering to press the thumbs up. Although for some strange reason 80% of people don't subscribe or press the thumbs up, and I have no idea why that is. But if you subscribe, thank you very much.